Hey guys, movie fan here. Just recently I talked about The Crow, and I did promise that I would talk about Brendan Lee's death. So, here we are. Like I said before, I've always had my suspicions about his death, because a lot of things do not add up very well. And basically, in order to tell you all about this, I have to tell you a story. It all started when they went to a pawn shop, and they bought themselves a gun for the scene that was, well, the pawn shop scene where he was going to get shot, which ultimately, that's what killed him. Here's where things take a pretty odd turn. But in order to demonstrate, I'm going to have to uh, pull out a little prop that I had for a long time. As you may have noticed, this is just a, uh, a replica, so do not be alarmed. It's not real. Can't possibly hurt anybody. So, okay. Anyway, the story goes that they bought the gun, and when they were setting up the scene, you know, they made it look exactly like the pawn shop that they bought it from. And they had rounds actually in the chambers. Why? I don't know. But apparently these rounds, the powder was taken out of the shells. So basically it had the bullet, and it had, like, the shell and the percussion caps, but no powder in there, so it shouldn't have went off. However, apparently, what happened was one of the percussion caps was still active. And when they were testing to try to, uh, you know, see uh, how the scene would look, apparently, they tested it, and they heard a snap sound, but when they opened it, nothing was out of the ordinary. However, apparently, because the percussion cap was still active, somehow was powerful enough to push the bullet right into the barrel, somewhere probably around here. That part we'll never know for sure. And it just sat there this whole time. And then finally, they put the blank cartridges in. And when they did the scene, that was it. Because the uh, wadding in the blank cartridge, or cardboard, was enough to push the bullet right out the gun. At least that's the conclusion they came up with based on investigative work. However, there's too many things here that do not add up. One, using an actual gun in the first place, that was a very stupid thing to do. I mean, automatic, you can understand that. You know, like a forty five or something. But a six-shooter, usually they try to have a regular prop gun, so nothing like this could happen. They're only designed to shoot blanks, nothing more. And I still can't help but ask this question. Why would you have bullets in here, minus the powder, but why would you have them in there in the first place? You can easily just do this without having bullets in there. So why did they do that? And at the same time, usually the property masters or the guys in charge of props Usually they do a better job of keeping track of these things. And that's the part that really doesn't add up. They really did not do a good job of keeping track on this. Because surely somebody must have noticed that when they emptied those shells, that there was one that was missing a bullet. But they didn't. And apparently the bullet had sat in there for about a week. And nobody noticed anything was off. Nobody checked the gun to make sure it wasn't loaded. I mean, granted, it seems impossible that a bullet would be lodged right in the barrel of the gun, but it has happened before. And I'm sorry, guys, I still have my suspicions about this. So, the question, was it carelessness? Was it murder? We'll probably never know for sure. Let me know what you think. This is Movie Fan, signing off.